In this little video, we're going to talk about how we can analyze freeway data in MATLAB. Now, before doing this, I just want to mention uh, that there are two main programs that we use for data analysis. One of them comes from our group, actually, uh, from Quality and Technology, from this website. Uh, we have on our website a toolbox called the Nway Toolbox. This one. Now it has all the functionality that we need. We're actually not going to use uh, this toolbox here, but it is freely available, uh, so you can download it from this web page. And there's even a, an associated uh, course on how to use um, this particular uh, toolbox. What we are going to use will be the PLS toolbox, which is a commercial toolbox, uh, but the one we currently use the most. Um, it does a lot of other things than just multi-way analysis, but we're going to focus on the multi-way analysis here. We're also going to use another feature of uh, this PLS toolbox, and that's the data set object. That one is not commercial, it's freely available. And what it does is that it makes it possible to handle and organize complex data, including labels and classes and wavelengths and things like that. It's just very convenient when you work with data. If we go to MATLAB, so I'm going to load a data set. This is amino acids. This is from PLS Toolbox, but you can also find it uh, on our homepage, models.life.ku.dk. As you can see here, it's a 5 by 201 by 61 data set, so it's a freeway array. It's five samples, and it's 201 emissions and 61 excitations. So it's really five different excitation emission matrices. We can open the data with the data set editor and take a look at what's inside. We can see the actual measurements, the fluorescence intensities, but we can also see labels for the different modes. For example, we can go to mode 2, and we can see that mode 2 is really emission, and we have different emission wavelengths, 201 in total, and we also have 61 excitations uh, for the third mode. There's some automated plotting functionality in the toolbox, but I'm not going to use that here. Instead, I'm going to plot the data sort of manually in MATLAB. So we're going to stay in the MATLAB command window uh, quite a bit. I can plot one of the samples. This is sample 1, all wavelengths, all emission wavelengths, and all excitation wavelengths. Now I need to use the squeeze command in order to turn it into a matrix instead of a freeway array, like that. And then I can plot the data. So this is sample 1. I can use axis tight to avoid all the white areas around here. So like this. Here we see sample 1. But I actually would like to see all five samples. So I'm going to make myself a little script. And say for sample number 1 to number 5, I want to make a subplot. Two rows and three columns, like this. Let me see what that does. Well, it simply makes small plots in two rows and in three columns. And this is plot number one, two, three, four, five, and possibly number six. So in here, I can plot my data. And I take each sample. I squeeze it, 
and I do access tight and when I'm done I want to show the window. I say Control A to select it and F9 to execute. And here you see I have my data set. This is a freeway data set, five different samples. The axes are not quite right. I really should have the excitation and emission wavelengths. Well, I can add those if I want to. And we'll do that here. Because I have the excitations in my data set object. These are the excitation wavelengths. And here we have the emission wavelengths. Now you notice that I do this in a fairly nerdy way where I write everything out so I can have it in a script. But if I wanted to, I could also have used the dataset editor, which is a bit more user friendly. And I could have taken, for example, the emission modes and just right click and extracted these my emission mode like this and then you would see that I would have the emission wavelengths in two different versions but I prefer to do it manually because then I can put it in a script now figuring out how to do this is quite simple if you just look in the manual of the dataset object. There's a lot of things you can do uh, manually like this, uh, but of course it's not logical. Okay, so now we can add the axis here. And now we have a nice plot of the five samples with the emission and excitation, uh, excitation and emission uh, wavelengths on them. So that's our freeway array.